staying in Scotland, what better person to discuss this one from Saturday's Times than the president of the Free Speech Union? Toby, take it away. So, um, yep, uh, £500 fine for singing racial slur. So a Shetland man has been fined uh, £500 for using the N-word as he sang along to a song by the Wu-Tan clan called Protect Your Neck. So, um, I mean, he hasn't been fined, interestingly, for singing along to this song in the ladies' toilets at a <laughs> boating club um, at a, a, in the small hours of the morning during a party. Um, uh, so he went into the ladies' loos. Maybe the men's loos were full. Who knows? He didn't know that there was a mixed-race woman in one of the cubicles, um, uh, presumably because the door was shut. Um, and uh, so he started singing this song, and it really offended her, and she complained, and eventually the police were called. And, um, you know, the... the the court, I think, has accepted um, that he didn't intend to cause any offence, but nonetheless, his behaviour was unacceptable and he's been fined £500 for committing this offence, using the N-word in what is effectively a public place in front of a woman of colour. That seems outrageous to have a £500 fine. Of course, you're talking about the toilets, we don't know how he identified, so we should say that. But it seems very unfair to me, because Kendrick Lamar, the famous rapper... Uh, but last, last couple of years or so, he, he got a girl on stage to sing one of his songs and she sang that word because it's in the song. Then he chastised her and stopped her, which seems a bit churlish when it's in the song and you've invited someone on stage. But we, these, the rules are complicated. Chris Rock famously said in a famous routine back in the day that the rule is it's got to be in the song. So if it's in the song, he was giving a pass to say it. I don't know when that rule officially changed, but it seems to have changed somewhere along the line. I mean, am I naive yes. about this, Toby? I am generally, aren't I? But... Uh... Can't we live in a world where people can say or sing outrageous things and just receive public condemnation rather than a fine or legal action? Yeah, it does but seem... Isn't it enough just for it to be taboo that you don't say that word, which is, I think, what it was before um, we got micromanaged by the authorities? Yes, I mean, it does seem a little bit uh, harsh uh, to force him to pay £500 when he was just, you know, presumably drunkenly uh, singing along to a song. I mean, I... He wasn't saying it. There is a difference, isn't there? There is a difference, yes, yes. And I think, I, think, I, mean, I've do, I have arguments with my children um, in which they think that teachers, when reading out passages from, say, um, Of Mice and Men, when a, a, a character, an unpleasant bigot, uses the N-word and it's in the text, uh, I think the teacher, when, when, when reading the text out to the class, should be able to use the word. I mean, after all, it's intended not to be... It's intended to indicate how unpleasant the character using the word is. But my kids think, no, that's taboo. Though, interestingly, they said that there'd been an incident at the school when a teacher had done this, and the only people to complain were the kind of white saviours... Of course. ..in the classroom, none of the children of colour. They didn't, and they actually found the complaints and the fuss made about it really embarrassing. Yeah, and... uh, but also, but if you if you can't use the N word in in Steinbeck, then you're diluting his anti-racist message. Well, yeah. So it, it's exactly like uh, having trigger warnings or even cancelling an episode of Forty Towers that mocks the Little England xenophobia of Basil Fawlty. Yeah. That yeah. was an anti-racist yes. episode which was cancelled by woke people. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, and, and presumably the, the, the same defence could be made. I mean, I don't actually... I'm not familiar with Protect Your Neck, but the title suggests it's about lynching, um, which, uh, which means that the word does have a kind of artistic significance well, in the context of this song. Absolutely. I mean, look, I'm obviously a bit of an absolutist about this, but I, I would also go as far as to say here's another rule of thumb, because, you know, that, that N-word used in in polite company is, is, is horrific. But what would normally happen is you'd use that word and you'd get death stares and people would be very upset and you'd think, crikey, I won't say that again. Which is how we used to resolve unacceptable words back in the day uh, without resorting to calling the cops. Uh, but here's the other thing. My red line is you don't touch art, even if it's unpalatable art. So if Steinbeck it has, contains a passage with the N-word in, well, that Steinbeck wrote that. We, the current generation, have no right to revisit great works of art, even if we don't like the words or the message. And, and one of the criticisms made of the Scottish Hate Crime Act, which has received royal assent but which hasn't yet been activated, um, is that it will mean that um, uh, uh, artists can be prosecuted uh, for hate speech, um, even when performing, say, the works of Shakespeare. Um, uh, and uh, one, of the, one of the things about the online safety bill, I think, that most people aren't yet aware of and should, should be aware of, is that it compels Ofcom uh, to remove from the internet 
and to fine companies up to 10% of their annual global turnover if they don't remove from the internet something which is illegal, unlawful in any part of the UK. So if something is just unlawful in Scotland, it will mean that Ofcom prevent everyone in the rest of the United Kingdom from being able to say it or see it on the internet. I mean, um, Liz Truss recently said that Nicola Sturgeon was an attention seeker who should be ignored, but her government, the government she's been part of, wants to pass a law which would make it impossible to ignore the draconian new anti-free speech measures in this Hate Crime Act, because Ofcom would be charged with prohibiting speech which at the moment is just prohibited in Scotland across the internet, across the United Kingdom. Although, oddly, you're almost making a case for independence there. If, we, if Scotland was separate, it wouldn't, <laughs> it wouldn't affect us. Well, yes, indeed.